So okay. those are my opening. Well, remarks. so but we're waiting uh, for the BOG um, to give us and the Cocoa Board as well to give us some explanation. We are told tomorrow that will happen. So as an investor, individual investor, we are told for individual, uh, the the Cocoa Board has been directed to make payments. So I would want to um, clear the legal hurdle, then we can look at uh, the finance with my other guests on this, so that I can I can allow you be. What redress then do I have as an investor? Is the key question that people are asking. So do I wait? and hear from the Cocoa Board or what do I do going forward tomorrow because many want their money for to pay their bills a month. So what rights does the, an investor have under these circumstances? Mm -hmm. Like I said, your, your cause of action would be one against the Cocoa Board because okay. they are the ones that you entered into the transaction with. However, if the bank credited your account then more or less you could say that, well, you have nothing to do with Cocoa Board because the monies that you were expecting was actually paid to you, into okay. your account. Mm -hmm. And if the bank, without your consent, debited the account, then you can go to, after the bank and then ask, why did you debit my account without my consent? Okay. The bank may, under the circumstances, a lawyer would, uh, would say that comment, bring third party proceedings to bring in either the Bank of Ghana or the Cocoa Board to defend them or to indemnify them against their liability because whatever they did was under the instructions of Cocoa Board. But at the end of the day, it is your money okay. and it is your property. Okay. Once you have properly acquired it and you had an agreement with Cocoa Board for it to be paid at a certain date, Cocoa Board or the Bank of Ghana cannot unilaterally decide to change the terms of that original contract without your consent. Okay.